In this episode of Sailing Doodle, Laura does some cooking her way and we sail up to the beautiful James Bond Island and explore a floating village before rafting up with some friends. Thank you to our patrons for making this channel possible and thank you to CharterCatamaran.com for supplying the boat we're currently sailing. Pretty nice and beautiful place when there's not a whole lot of people around. I mean, it's nice and beautiful anyway, but uh, it's even better when there's no people around. Nobody running a generator till 10 o'clock at night, 11 o'clock at night, but uh, beautiful spot. If you ever get a chance to come to Koh Hong, don't skip it. Gotta go to James Bond Island. Yeah. Do some 007 stuff. Yeah, she's such a secret spy, let me tell you. So yeah, we are headed to James Bond Island. It's just about three miles up that way, so we're just gonna motor straight up and uh, hang out there, check it out, the sites, do the tourist stuff. Then there's like this little fishing pier village thing. It's like, there's a lot of places in Thailand where people like build their homes out over the water. I guess it's to avoid paying like property tax or something. <laughs> I don't know. Really? Yeah, I think so. So we'll go check it out. So, you ready? I'm ready. All right, let's do it. We could try to stop this, postpone a heartache. But I bet your body disagree Cause you keep coming home to me My eyes are glued to my phone Trying to read your signals But you say you wanna be alone oh, no. That's the way she likes to cook, I don't know You know, it's funny, I, I was looking at the, the views up here, and it's just, I mean, this is gorgeous. I've never seen anything like it, it's amazing. And I'm thinking, man, this is like something out of a movie, and then you're like, well, actually, it is out of a movie. It was James Bond. So that's where they filmed James Bond, so we're headed there to go look at it. This is technically a national park of Thailand, so there is an entrance fee. It was 300 baht a person, which is about $10 a person to come visit. I guess. I'm glad you could read that sign. Ah, I can read Thai, totally. James Bond Island is one of those spots that can draw a crowd, so it's best to visit early in the morning or late in the afternoon. So in the movie, Man with the Golden Gun, James Bond came in his amphibious airplane streaming around the corner right there up here. I guess it was a little bit higher tide, hopefully, and then beached his airplane right there. It's possible. What's happening here? Yeah, it's uh, it's like a big market. seems to be a common theme I'm having with the Phuket area and all these highlands in here. I wish I would have seen it 20 years ago. Be a little bit more lonely. Yeah, it's just less commercialized back then, probably, you know, just as beautiful, or absolutely more beautiful. Less people. I don't 
know why the dinghy motor quit, but it did. It started bogging down. I don't know, it could be a fuel mixture problem or something. I don't know. You just want to work out them guns, babe. <laughs> it's, it's pretty much slack, low tide right now, thankfully. Because <laughs> the tide's about to be coming in, and it comes in pretty good, like an knot or two. So, that would have been uh, uh, pretty much impossible. Because we only have, I don't know, I think maybe we got a paddle stolen or something, but there's only one paddle. We eventually made it back to the boat and headed north to the floating village of Pan Yi. During lunchtime, the place is absolutely packed with tourists. We waited for the lunch crowds to die down a little bit and then headed in ourselves. There were lots of large, scary looking jellyfish in the water. Ready. Well, Laura was already told to cover up out of her bikini. It's a very Muslim place. So this whole pier, there's just restaurants and shops all the way down it. And like most people just live in a little back room in one of the shops or they live right up in the front room. It's uh, that's just a family business. There were arrows painted on the ground to places like the mosque and the infirmary. So I've seen several of these like little stilt villages now and this is by far like the most like organized and commercial one I've seen. Uh, like with the biggest restaurants and stuff like that. All the other ones have been kind of like mom and pop style. I mean, yeah, there's some, they're selling tourist stuff, but it's not this much tourist stuff. I think this is pretty much how they make their whole income here is just tourism. I feel like the boats have made a big, like a big loop from the yeah. places that we've seen today. So maybe that's part of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just a big tourist place. The place has everything from nice big mansions to barely put together shacks. There's a school and a football stadium. There's pretty much anything you need. So what'd you think of the floating city? Um, it was really cool. I mean, it was. I like that there was no people there when we visited. Yeah, during during lunchtime they're super busy. We kind of planned to be here after that. We went for lunch and everything was closed when yeah. we got there. Yeah. And it was only like two in the afternoon. So I was kind of like, I wanted to eat. Yeah, it's kind of not much going on. It's a pretty strict Muslim place, so there's no beer. I think no... it's pretty time sensitive. Yeah, time sensitive. But uh, so we were going to stay the night here, but uh, we it's met. It's not a happening place. No, no. What is a happening place is we hung out with some uh, South Africans uh, a couple nights ago. Half moon party, to be that, specific. That, that, or a full moon party, what am I talking about? That got pretty crazy. So we're gonna go meet up again. Uh, them again. They're about nine or 10 miles away, so we're gonna go meet them up. Do it.
All right, so we got our insane uh, South African prints over there. We're actually just gonna raft up on their port side, put our starboard side to their port, and there you go. Should be a fun night. We rafted up to their Leopard 44 at the island of Koh Roy. There's a hong big enough to take the dinghy on the inside of the island, and so that's what the group did. The full moon came a little bit early that evening. 